It's your boy DTV in the building. DTV. One of the hottest young upcoming rappers from Chicago. This man, he go hard, man. Introduce yourself, my man. Man, niggas call me Jupac nowadays. Call me Jupac. Oh, yeah. You know, we in the building, you know, we in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Where you from, dog? I'm from, uh, I'm from out east, man. Cottage Grove. I don't really gotta get to like specifics, but you 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 catch me with Cottage Grove between 80, 80th and ninety third, all that. Everybody know, you know. So so how long you been doing this thing? You know how long you been in the game? How long you been rapping? You know, you I mean. Oh, uh, it's um, it's funny cause shit. A nigga, a, a nigga was doing some acting and shit when I was a shorty. You know, niggas had the little school plays and shit like in the classroom, the pass and shit. So when I was a shorty, nigga was kind of good at that shit. So niggas was picking a young nigga, but I was writing too at the same time. I was writing, writing the same little plays and the little books and shit. So that shit made sense. So I started rapping for real, for real when I met uh, Kanye. Word on the streets, man. You be on the streets, um, you know. Bullying niggas freestyling, you know what I'm saying? You be fucking niggas up. You mean for real though, bro? Rolling roll the streets, man. You take it to the streets, the studio, man. Give a, give us a, you know what I'm saying? A, a taste, like, I mean, like your music. I mean, like what level is it? What, what level is on? And and and, and <coughs> which audience you trying to reach? Oh, for sure, man. You know what? You can give a nigga a a motherfucker told me one day, like, man, you can't make music for yourself. You gotta make music for the niggas that's listening to you. You know what I'm saying? Need the work so they excuse all fuck up. Sorry, driller, I tried. He called me a couple times. Just know I'm still on the rise. So when you get up, it's fine. T N S Seven Reese B that Kurt Corey and Gucci. D Nas Demo Swag Tilly Drizzy Pat and Deucey. And smiles be immortalized. I'm just glad I got the time and chance to get this shit up off my chest before I fucking die. Ignorance is bliss, and you motherfuckers better not ever diss me. And they songs I rap better than they like. This every deal kick like some Kanye shit. And I feelin' like that nigga that said let the beat build. Trouble on the trouble on my tribe. I'm a trip. He'll be back, man. My man Jew, man. She hot as hell in the streets, man. I got a couple more questions for you, dog. You know, I ain't gonna take up too much of your time. I know you busy and shit, you know what I'm saying? You got shit going on, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I got a couple more questions, man. What you think about that Kanye West shit, man? You know, and the way, you know what I'm saying, the hip-hop culture has changed where they say guys is not spitting bars anymore. But, you know, most importantly, what you think about that Kanye West shit, man? I just need your honest opinion. We we know Ye like it's funny man because I'm one of the few rappers I'm one of the few rappers from Chicago like like all of us like all the young all the niggas under like from from 27 and to like 15 I'm one of the few rappers who actually met Kanye before way before niggas started rapping you feel me so. And the nigga told me some wild ass shit when I first met him. And I was probably only like 13. The nigga told me some crazy ass shit when I first met him. So, like, it's... I feel like he he ain't know how to say what he really was trying to say. You know what I'm saying? We know the nigga for saying wild shit. All my life, that's all I've been like. I said, fuck it. Say fuck you. Say how you feel the shit. But we not fucking, like... We not fucking with Trump, but I I think I know what he's trying to say, but we we know Kanye just talk first and think later. But as far as the rap, like niggas are spinning the bars, but I mean it's a couple of, it's a couple of guys that spin the bars out here. It's just they nigga the media and the people in charge, they not really Promoting these guys and these guys making just as good, most likely better music than the niggas that's out right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they 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 like simplistic shit. 
You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a couple of guys that's out, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, as far as Chicago, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? Herb and Bibby kind of bought that, like, spitting kind of back, you know what I'm saying? My 10 to 300, he cool. Love folk, and, like, them niggas can rap, you know what I'm saying? So, as far as our city, you know what I'm saying? But I feel where you coming from, man. Niggas is definitely getting away from the bars, man, but... I'm here to bring this shit back. How many times you heard the story about a great that's never taken off or had the chance to make it cause he threw his life away? Oh, he could have been that nigga, he had something to say. But my moment took so long, my faith lost faith. It's hard to be the chosen one, but harder when you wait. Only mentally, where I didn't have what it takes, I bugged up on my niggas cause I ain't feel safe. I love the hood, which y'all don't love me back cause I don't wanna stay. My mother, grandmother, they made me a big brother. So this need to, so they excuse all fuck up. Sorry, driller, I tried. He called me a couple times. Just know I'm still on the rise. So when you get out, it's fine. I've been listening to your music for a while, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, oh, I've been curious, you know, your lyrical content. You know, how did you develop that? But, but hold on, we're going to say that for later. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So who was your, you know what I'm saying, number one inspiration? Or a couple rappers that... You thought or may have thought that inspired you right. to continue. You know what I'm saying? I know you got a son. I know you do this for your son and all that. But besides that, you know, talk to me. Right. Hey, yo. Man, look. Uh, Thanks. I thought I was going to I, I start taking this shit for real, man. <clears throat> Shout out to GLC, man. Uh, I start my home. I got a friend. I had a friend. Stay across the street from me. It just happened to be GLC nephew. You know what I'm saying? And we always used to see the nigga. I ain't gonna lie, I thought the nigga sold drugs and shit. I ain't I ain't know he was rapping and shit. The nigga was come to the come to the street and shit. I used to go to this house and shit. He used to be sitting on the couch and shit with the fucking Jesus piece on and shit. I'd be like, hey, what the fuck this nigga do? He said, Oh man, he just came from Tokyo. What the fuck this nigga do? You know what I'm saying? He said he he rapped. He, he's Kanye West's best friend, Kanye West. As for probably like six months, that nigga Ye actually shoot a video on the street I stayed on. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Walks, the third video. You know what I'm saying? They ain't make it on TV. So when I met him, started taking that shit serious. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I listened to his music, but um, I, I really came up really off Jay, Wayne, and Pop. Kind of. I listen to a lot of Jeezy and Gucci now. Trap guys. You know? I don't think these people heard your music yet, man. I don't think they understand what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they really, really know what's about to shake in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm asking you these questions because it relate to some of these guys that you just named. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You know, your, your, your musical content and history, you know what I'm saying? You studied the game. Tell these people, you know what I'm saying, about a little bit, you know, the study of the game that you got. You know, just give them a little something. Some of the guys, some of the guys in the hood on the block right now, they're, they, they stop now. But a couple of them used to look at me funny. Because I, I sacrificed a lot of shit to even, you know what I'm saying, to know what I know. And it's, you know what I'm saying, like, personal relationships, you know what I'm saying, financial relationships, just to study on my craft, man, to see what I was getting myself into, man. You know what I'm saying, so... If if you don't know what you're doing and what you the the field you trying to get in and you don't got no knowledge of it, you don't need to be doing it. So other than that, I'm just it's it took a lot of man. I, you know what? I I listen to every fucking body, every fucking body from motherfuckers from Mace to motherfucking all the way to fucking Eight Ball MJG, like every motherfucking body. So. I took the game, man, and ran with it. That's all. I'm, I'm really, man, I've been underground for a while in the city, man. You know what I'm saying? A couple of the guys that just can't, that just probably got on right now, or who's still underground, <clears throat> they know about me real well. And a couple of niggas I demolished know about me very well. All uh, right, we all know the streets is hot. It's yeah. Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Everybody, you see the news, you know, little kids getting shot, you know what I'm saying? 
all type of nonsense going on. At one point, the robbery, robberies was going up. You know, then it went from that to carjacking to the murder rate. Now we got all this. And we got poverty in the hood. You know, racism. I ain't gonna lie, I was, I'm a part of a little, a bit of that shit you mentioned, my damn self, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying? P pipe case and shit, so. I, I just got a probation for that bullshit not too long ago. Oh, so you on probation? I mean, you, uh. Yeah, I got, I know, I got, I probably got, if it's, if it's 2018 right now, I've probably been out for like four years. You know, you know they get they give the guys a hard time with them pistol cases, man. They trying to stick it to a motherfucker. By the grace of God, I got through. They just changed the law. They just changed the law, I believe, when they said it's like non probationable now. I was one of the last few pipe cases in Chicago that caught the probation law. I don't even think it's probational for first time uh, um, offenders no more. So. And yeah, that's fucked up. up. You know, niggas be out here trying to protect themselves, you know. All guys with gun cases ain't bad guys, you know no, what I'm saying? You know, they put them here. You know, but what can we do, man? You know, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, the music that you're generating and about to put out can help the youth in a cause where it can be positive, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, one life, you say one life, man. That, that one like a turn of thousands, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to see what it do, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get back at you, you know what I'm saying? Right My nigga Jew, man. Gang, yo, look out for the um, television series. Look out for my man, DTV. Shout out to them. They already know. Uh, Baggage series coming soon. Mr. Moore coming soon. Alright. Look. Look out, man. Look out for this shit. Y'all people better check it out, you know what I'm saying? We in, the, in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing gonna change. We in the streets with it, you know what I'm talking about? Always, man. Always. All right. Beach. Some people over diamonds be crying. Some people over diamonds be dying. Without even trying. All because of the diamond. On Cotter Grow, boy, you know just where to find me. I want that back one time, that is.